Hello Scraps! Today I am super excited to share with you this fantastic journaling kit from Calico Collage. Um, it's the Spring Peacock and I'm going to be using it in a way that may not be the traditional way that you would think to use a journaling kit. I am using it in my planner. So I'm not gonna be using probably the entire kit per se, although eventually I will, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you how to set up your planner and use something as easy as a digital download kit by Calico Collage to do so. It's super, super fun. It's super easy and you can customize it any way you want. So let me first show you kind of what's in the kit. I did not print all of the elements on the kit and I have to tell you that I started to have a little bit of um, an issue with my printer. Uh, the cardstock paper that I chose, it just didn't like. So um, there's some imperfections in some of my prints, but that is not because of the digital downloads. That's strictly because of my printer. And I'm going to be fixing that momentarily. However, the spots that I have um, my printer screwed up on, it's no big deal. I can totally work with it. And um, it's not going to affect it one way or the other. It wasn't worth throwing away the the paper because um, I can, you know, I, I can work with it. It's not, I can hardly even notice it really. So let me show you some of the beautiful things that are in the Spring Peacock kit. And like I said, this is actually the cover sheet for the kit. So if you were going to put it together in the traditional way, that this would be your cover sheet. So this is what um, your reader would see first. Um, this is a great sheet, journaling sheet. I love this one. So I didn't print everything up. I really love the girls. Um, it's not, I didn't print everything up strictly because I knew that I wouldn't be using everything this time. So I, and I just printed up the ones that um, I thought I would be using but I have lots of plans for this. And the beauty of this is, is you download the whole thing for 10 bucks and 50 cents. And um, guess what? You can use it as many times as you want. You don't have to print everything. You can just print one sheet of whatever you want and you're not wasting paper. You're not wasting your, um, your ink and you still have it for future use, which is fantastic. So I really love that. And then these are the element sheets and holy cow, are there a ton. All right, so. These are just so awesome. So since I have this out, this is my monthly spread. This is how it usually is done. This is for this week. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty busy. Let me show you how I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up here and kind of show you how I start out the month. First of all, the first thing I do is I go ahead and I fill out my month. And I haven't done that for March yet. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'll turn off the camera and I'll show you what I have when I come back. Once I get the overview of the month going, then I go ahead and I start to make my pockets and things for my planner. And those I will keep up here in the front of my planner. So this last month, I, need, I had it labeled monthly. Then here are some little notes and projects. Girl boss. And then this I'm going to fill out a little later. This is where I actually keep pictures and things that um, occurred during the month. And, and um, I use my planner, my big planner, as hybrid scrapbooking um, because I've been scrapbooking for over 30 years. And you can only imagine how much space those books take up. So I like to do something to still do my scrapbooks, but maybe only do one or two layouts a month that can go in the scrapbook itself and then put all my pictures and things right in my planner. So this was for February. And right here, this was some more to buy. This I flipped this to the back because I already did my market run. And then this was my dashboard. So anyway, that's kind of how I lay it out. Now, the thing is, this is not my big planner. This is just the one that I carry around with me every day and I use. The reason why I don't carry around my whole planner is because it's huge and I'll show you. This is my planner. It is huge. So what I do is once my get my my um 
pictures printed, like I had mentioned, I go ahead and I put them into these pockets so that I can remember. And I put in my my stuff. See, here's the pictures from May. We went to the Wax Museum. We went to Universal Studios. So anyway, that's kind of how I lay it out. I do everything month by month. Um, so you won't be able to see me put together my photo element in t today um, because I don't have any pictures, obviously, for March yet. But um, I'll make sure that when I do that, I'll I post it on my Instagram so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip forward to... March. I made a shaker card one month. Isn't that cute? All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm going to flip through to March. It's December's. And as you can see, I put my month right back in my planner because I still want a record of it. You know, I think it's kind of cool to go back and look and see everything you've done and how busy your year was. And it helps explain the pictures. All right, so as you can see, February is out because it's already in my planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull March out. Now, I have the Happy Planner, so that's why I'm able to do this. If you don't have the Happy Planner, you're gonna have to modify this for whatever form of planner that you use, okay? But I like to work with it completely out of the book so I can move the pages much more easier. When March is over next, I mean, when February is over, I'm going to go ahead and just slide that in right here. This is March. And the first thing I need to do is I need to fill out my month. That's the first thing that I'm going to need to do. And then from there, I'm going to work on um, making it pretty and organizing it using the Spring Peacock kick for, Kit from Calico Collage. Okay, so I cut out my elements on my scan and cut. Here are a few of them that I'm going to possibly use on this next um, thing I'm doing. And I'm basically going to show you how to make two different kinds of pockets for your Happy Planner. You can modify this for any kind of planner that you use, but I use the Happy Planner, so naturally mine is going to be for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it on its seam right here. Now I am going to make this a little bit smaller because my dashboard that I made and you'll see in a few is actually um, is actually uh, this size and I like there to be a variation in my planner of pockets I think it just is more interesting and honestly easier for me to find things so I am gonna trim this down a bit I'm gonna trim it on this side because this butterfly is bigger so I'm going to trim this down. This actually is going to also be the size in which I um, punch it and it will go into my happy planner. So um, I'm going to punch it on this side and it's going to punch it in this side and it's going to open up here. Move my camera a little bit. Make this bigger. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, I think, yeah, I think I like this as it is. So I'm going to show you a real quick way to make a um, fun little pocket with some interest. So we're going to take this right here and I'm actually going to fold it at a little bit of a diagonal. So I'm going to open it up and this is just going to, I'm just doing this just to create a little bit of interest. Okay. So you'll be able to see, I'll be able to see whatever I store in here popping out right there, but that's really plain, right? So I want to add in there some clip art pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere this to the top of that. I'm going to line it up 
and it's okay right here if it's off a little because like I said I'm going to be punching this side so you won't really be able to see it. Now I do use the Happy Planner Punch and if you have ever used the Happy Planner Punch you know that it can't punch through a ton of thickness. So normally I'm just going to cut on that line just to cut that element off because my punch might it might be too much for my punch and we don't want that so I just cut on that line perfect all right okay so let me add in that other element and this is just one type of um, file that you can make for your happy planner Then I'm going to show you another kind that you can use. I need a total of five files for my Happy Planner this month. Five files, five pockets. Um, yeah. I'm going to line it up more flush with that. Okay. So there we go. And that's going to stay open. And then I'm just going to take this and run my adhesive down the bottom of it. You want to make sure that you do a full adhesive. In fact, I'm even going to run it down this side as well, just so I know that when it closes, there's nothing can fall out of the bottom because I am going to keep things like notes and things like that in there. Okay. So, and I love this because the back's pretty too. All right. So there's this. And again, I said, don't worry about that because that's going to be hidden when we um, slide it into our happy planner. So now I'm going to take my punch. And if you don't have a happy planner, use something else, then you just take whatever um, you punch with to add uh, things into your planner and punch away. And voila, there it is. Now at this time I could take my scissors and cut that off. I probably will trim that down a little bit before I put it in, but this is just a really easy pocket to make file. I'm just going to take and do a little bit of adhesive between these. You don't really need it. It's going to hold pretty good, but just to be on the safe side, right? All right. Now let me show you the other kind that you can make. And I'm going to decorate this up and you'll see it in my planner. All right, so this is the other one we're gonna do, and I'm gonna do a different opening on the top of this. So, once again, and I did trim off some excess um, when I was trimming this down. When you get this file, it is completely even, um, but I trimmed down some excess as I, as I cut it because I wanted to remember to make it smaller. All right, so I'm going to take and trim this down. Again, I want it to be a different size than this one, whether that's more narrow, shorter, taller, smaller, I don't know yet. But we're gonna trim it down. Quite, I'm gonna actually trim it down pretty good. Right there, all right, okay. So let's see how this is with this. I want to see. So see, that's a little bit that has a different um, size variation there. However, I want to take it down even more. Um, I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to, gosh, I like the top and the bottom. It's so pretty. I'll take it down an inch on the top. Okay. Then, yeah, that's good. See how the variation is there? That's really nice. Okay. Now for this one, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, to take my circles that I've had forever from close to my heart. And I'm actually going to cut just kind of a knob in the top of it. So there's this. Okay. 
let me see here. I should use the grid, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut this down. I know you guys are cringing because I'm cutting this beautiful paper. I'm kind of cringing too, but I can save this and use it for something else. Not all is lost, my friends. Not all is lost. Okay, and then here I need to add... Oh, I like that. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to cut it in half. And pop that up there. So this measures five. So I'm going to take it down to two and a half right here. All right. gonna adhere this one first. Y'all know I get adhesive happy. I've said that like a ton of times. I love my adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna put this lined up over here. Alright, and then this lined up over here. Okay, it doesn't matter that it's not all even right there because look what I'm doing. I'm closing it. All right, let me run this down the bottom again. And there we go. Just wanted it to lay flat. Okay, so these are two different kinds of pockets that you can make for your planner. Just the folded crease and then um, a circle with your circle cutter and I'm gonna go and finish up my pockets and files put it together and come back and show you guys all right be back in a few so I have my planner for March all set up using the calico collage spring peacock junk journal kit um, and I have to tell you that I am just in complete awe of this kit. Um, if you joined me yesterday, we made those cute little bottle cap clips. I used on the accent butterflies provided in the kit um, this Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge to add some stability and just a little bit of shine. Sprinkled some glitter and I did that to this one over here as well so there you go that's what that looks like okay and I I gotta admit the more I worked with this just the more blown away I was with it I subscribe right now to a planner kit because I like the different kinds of options and it runs me about $50 a month, including shipping. Um, and I actually am more pleased with the kit that I was able to make out of the $10.50 download um, files for the Spring Peacock kit from Calico Collage. It, it's remarkable. And it was so funny because as I was working with the paper, I'm like, wow, this paper is such nice quality. And then it's like, oh, I printed it on this paper. But there's so much more I can do with this. Um, but I figured I would save at least 70% a month if I bought one of the junk kits and downloaded it. That includes my print, printing, my paper, the cost of the kit. So to me, it's a total value. And I think the kit is the most beautiful thing I've had in my planner ever. So I'm blown away. So let me show you what I did. I keep the stuff that I'm going to use later on in the month because I only plan one week at a time. I keep other things I can incorporate in in the side pockets over here so I can plan on the go if I need to. This is my cover sheet 
and I, I used a few elements. I put the butterfly element on a pop dot. I didn't add any bling to this one. I like it just like this. Then I did my month overview. This is what my month overview looks like. I had some coordinating washi tape um, in my stash, peacocks, ironically, and pink and gold bling, so glitter. I decided to go ahead and use that as well. I don't have anything on my design team yet because I haven't filled it out, though. I do know what I need to write on here. This is I just love this little journal card. It's so cute. And... I had so much fun making it. But anyway, this is where I start, do my month overview, um, and I will refer back to this as I do my weeks coming up. Um, and if I have anything come up, I'll write it down here, and then I'll transfer it over on the week. So I always refer back to my monthly overview, if that makes any sense. Use this little, the most beautiful experience we can have is the myst Mysterious. This is for my spring break with the kids. And so I'm going to turn the page and show you my next weeks. And this is kind of as far as I get in my planning. Um, so, but I needed the pockets for this. So this is what I did for next week. I have a lot of appointments going on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This will be my list week. And the cool thing is I love this little library card. And I'm like, oh, I only have one. Because that's what I would always think whenever I got my planner kit subscription. And it's like, oh, wait, no, I can print more. Yay! <laughs> so I think it's awesome. I'm going to put my market list in this. I showed you guys how to make the pocket. This is going to be my recipe list. I already have some recipes in there. Or my recipe pocket. This is actually my dashboard. I keep this in all of the uh, planners in, in the weeks to help me um, know where I am. I'll take it out so you can get a better look at it. But basically what I did was um, I just took a, the bingo card and I folded it in half and I tucked it in here. I cut this down at an angle and tucked in there. I put a couple little of the butterflies on pop dots added some bling to those make it kind of special and I can use sticky tabs on this if I need to but this just holds the place that's why it's so tall and I have it up here because I I need it to really when I grab my planner to go I need a bookmark basically to know where I'm at and I just love it because look as I turn the pages the pockets over they're as pretty on the back as they are on the front. I mean, that to me is so awesome. And then this is the last half of my week. Um, and I just took one of the little sayings out of the accent and I did Y fit in when you were born to stand out. Little pocket that I can add things to, uh, lists and whatnot. I'm a big list person, so that's probably what will go over here. I just, I absolutely love how this turned out. The next week, I'll go back through and I'll fill this out for next week. But I did want to show you for the spring break, that's this week, and we're going to be going to um, Four Corners. And so I need to write down our plans and where we're staying and things like that on, on this sheet of paper. And again, I thought, oh, I so love this journaling paper. I wish I had more than one. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can totally print more than one. So it was just mind boggling to me. The kit is just gorgeous. Um, and then I added down here, imagination rules the world. And so this is what I came up with. This is my planner spread. I'm using the happy planner and I am so pleased with it. This junk kit is by far the best thing I have ever used in my planner. I've been planning for about a year. I have done tons of Etsy stores with stickers. I've done um, subscription kits. I have one that I like and I'm, I'm going to have to cancel. Like I'm I, I this suits me and the cool thing is is let's say that you find a journaling kit that you really like you can do your whole year in that journaling kit and just print up what you need I mean it is so awesome and I have leftovers pages from the journaling kit that I printed accidentally I wasn't thinking I just got so excited so I'm gonna do some things with that later this month and show you but this is just I'm so pleased with how this turned out and it did take me a little bit to do it just because I've never done my planner like this. But now that I I know like 
how it goes. And, you know, I just got my mind blown so much doing this with the fact that knowing that I can print this whenever I need it. If I need more of these adorable little library cards, I can print those. I don't have to order them or worry that I'm going to be out. They're right there. Guess what? If I mess up on it, it's not the end of the world because I can print another one. And a lot of times we don't use things that we get because we're too scared to cut the pretty paper. I mean, you guys heard me today. <laughs> I was so scared to have to cut the pretty paper. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But then it's like, wait, wait a minute. I can totally print more. <laughs> so, um, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just beautiful. So anyway, I just, I highly encourage you guys to go over to Calico Collage and download the, the junk journal kits. There's tons to choose from. This one is vibrant and beautiful. Um, it's the Spring Peacock. I, I think it's probably even prettier in person than, than what it is here. Uh, you just won't be disappointed. If you have any questions, because I know that I'm in awe right now and I'm probably rambling a lot uh, uh, regarding my planner, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Questions about setting up a planner, feel free to just leave those in there too and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability on my knowledge of using a planner and how to incorporate it into your life. Um, if you don't plan, mm, baby. You got to, because who doesn't want this on their desk? Oh, so pretty. Until next time, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a whole bunch of fun stuff coming this month that I'm so excited to share. And I know that you guys are just going to love. And um, I just, I don't want you to miss out. And I really appreciate the subscriptions. So if you can subscribe to my channel, if you haven't done so, that would be awesome. Share this video and um, I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. Bye.